doing 15 episodes of the Macy's Parade, I think it's time to do a long one, like Big Bird. And what better way to go with Garfield the Cat from the, two, from the 1980s to the 2000s. And Garfield has been a pop culture every time he made his debut in 1978. For Garfield, he has appeared on television, on video games, on stage, and also movies. And this year marks Garfield's 40th anniversary. But he was also a giant balloon in the Macy's Parade. So let's talk about our final balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Garfield made his parade debut in 1984 with a chorus from United Media as his sponsor. His design shows him relaxed with his entire smile and for paws and, and his tail was movable. On his debut, he was talked about twice. One was in Central Park and one from 34th Street in the Macy's Parade Studios. But on Garfield's appearance, his left paw was deflated. Uh, that is uh, one of the uh, most famous characters around these days. He is Garfield the Cat. Probably the best loved cat in America, although he's probably more accurately described as a, a human in cat clothes from his characteristics there. This is uh, Garfield. You probably see him in your local paper. Jim Davis is his creator. Garfield comes to us by way of um, United Features Syndicate. How's that for a few? And then he would continue on in 1985. But however, Garfield was the highest of all the other balloons in the rainy parade day. Question for you. What 60 feet high, 35 feet wide, orange and black, and hates exercise? Well, there's the answer to your question right there. And we really answered it last year when the great Garfield balloon made its debut in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I mean, how can you not love a cat that puts chasing mice at the bottom of his list of fun things to do? Garfield has been ordered as saying, show me a bouncer and I'll show you a cat with bad breath. Boy, the balloon handlers deserve a lot of credit on this day, too. It's breezy and rainy, and uh, it's not easy uh, getting a monster like Garfield, pardon me, Garfield, for calling you that, but getting him down the street. Garfield is furnished by United Features Syndicate, and this morning he displayed his famous appetite by having a Thanksgiving breakfast of, get this, 18,907 cubic feet of helium. Then, in 1996, he became the first balloon in the parade, but two of his paws was ripped. Well, I don't know how many clowns we have. I don't know that there's an official count in this parade, but uh, we can stop counting somewhere in the thousands. Now, look at this. This is the third year running that Garfield has been willing to break his normal sleeping schedule with an early feeding of helium on Thanksgiving morning so he could appear in our parade. And for a cat whose uh, primary joys in life are eating and sleeping, you can imagine the sacrifice he's making to be here today. Still, when it comes to his fans, and especially children, he may sound tough, but he's really a pushover. Furnished by United Features Syndicate, he's also one of the most popular balloon characters ever presented in this parade. Look at him, measuring 60 feet in length, 35 feet wide. I've calculated he is capable of popping up a 20-foot fur ball, but that's just an unofficial estimate on my account. He's actually the fattest club in the parade, but this is Thanksgiving, so let's not talk about waistlines. The main thing is Garfield knows we all love him. Next up, in 1987, he became the first balloon. But this time, and commenting a Willis a Willer Scott on his first year hosting. Happy Thanksgiving, Rita. Thank you for the entertainment. Ah, here he comes. That son of a gun. That cat, that Garfield, that gigantic thing you see there. He's the fattest and the greediest of all the balloons. Do you want to take more helium to play him than any of the others? Nearly 19,000 cubic feet. That's a lot of hot air even for me. And because he's so fat, Six, count them, 36 balloon handlers to keep him in the line of march. Garfield has what's described 
a free lift. That means he can lift 400 pounds off the ground. Or me and the... So, if four kids weigh 100 pounds each tried to hold his guidelines, they could keep him down. He'd fly off with them. Anyhow, 100 pound kids can't be balloon handlers. You've got to be at least 150 pounds to hold one of these lines. And all the handlers are volunteers who work at, guess what? Macy's. Garfield is furnished by United Media. We love you, Fat Jack. There's lots more. Then in 1988, he became the first balloon once again. Also, to celebrate Garfield's 10th anniversary, which was not up in Ubble in the parade's broadcast on NBC. In 1989, since was the parade was fully snowed, Alf was a special guest host in the parade, and he was lucky enough to talk about the famous Fat Cat. I gotta tell you, here's the Fat Cat that I've been waiting for. Garfield the Delicious. Ha <laughs> ha! Now this is the sixth time this tabby has stalked down Broadway in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And if my plans work out, it'll be his last. They told me it was going to be a real cat. It's made out of vinyl. You know, if I wanted to eat something that big made out of vinyl, I would have eaten Willard Scott's garment bag. Ah, ah, oh, I kill me. Yeah. Now, the truth is, this guy is kind of cute, all right? I might take him home for a pet if it wasn't so darn big. But always let the air out of him, though. Look at that thing. Hmm. Not enough mustard in the world. That would have fed my entire planet, you know that? Look at that thing. Whoa. Giant feline mignon. All right. Well, I think we'll go to a commercial right now while I sharpen my carving knife. Ah! Ah! After the 1990, after the 1998, after the 1999 parade, yeah, that's what I said, he was retired. Until 1992, Paws Incorporated decided to bring back the balloon and to celebrate Garfield's 50, 15th anniversary, which is, which will be happening in 1993. But he was the first balloon in, 1990, in 1992. What a show, what a production, what a way to start off the band, the Sunshine State of Florida. The best. Thank you, West Orange. Garfield knows that he's going to pass on turkey this Thanksgiving and head straight for the lasagna. That's his favorite dish. I hope they're serving that where you're headed for, Big Cat. Well, you know, Garfield is not known as an up and out of cat, but when he heard he was going to be the first giant balloon in the parade this year, well, he roused himself to fly down Broadway just for us. Furnished by United Media, Garfield will be celebrating his 15th birthday this year. Happy birthday, big guy, and thanks for stopping by. Then in 1993, 
Garfield who was reaching his 15th anniversary in the parade that year. Garfield, of course, is known to move at a snail's pace, but when he found out he was going to be in today's celebration, this feline made a beeline for the parade. Furnished by United Media, this kitty weighs in at a whopping 398 pounds. Willard, how about that? Talk about a fat cat. It's no wonder he needed 35 iron-handed escorts to hold the tiger. And Willard, this year Garfield will be putting 15 candles on top of his lasagna. Hey, that means he's 15, but certainly he ain't leaving. In 1994, which began the brand new era of the parade's broadcast on NBC, Garfield's sponsor was changed to Paws Incorporated. Garfield will continue for the next four years. He became the second balloon in the parade, since the balloon that was before him, Dudley the Dragon, was deflated. And Garfield hit a lamp, hit a lamp post and it bounced off with no damages at last. Then in 1996, he became the second balloon in the parade, but not counting the deflated part like the previous. Yeah. 
and the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is sponsored in part by the Braun Oral-B Black Remover. Dentists recommend changing your toothbrush every three months. We in 1997, Big Bird was one of the seven giant helium balloons that survived the heavy wind conditions in the parade, along with Arthur, Big Bird, Peter Rabbit, Rugrats, Spider-Man, and Bumpy. Four balloons were damaged or popped, and one balloon caused the worst accident in the character that was... that I will talk about in Season 2. Even though Garfield survived, he did got some damages. His back paw was damaged, and his tail was damaged overnight due to the heavy winds. And one of my favorite things, Alan Kitty, is making his 14th appearance in the city that never sleeps. Here's the only kitty that only sleeps. America's favorite fat cat, Garfield. I love them. And I'm telling you, we're the same strengths, I think, when it comes to hobby skating. And they would be Willard? Well, you know, eating and taking your first nap, of course, but eating and taking another first nap. In 1998, when Macy's and the people of New York City have the new rules for the balloons on their size limits, the expansion of the handlers and pilots, and have two utility vehicles to help control the balloons, Garfield was one of the balloons that got to stay in the parade. And it was pretty exciting for this cat, as 1998 marks Garfield's 20th anniversary. But however, like in 1997, the weather was heavy winds, but lots of rain. Luckily, nobody was hurt but some balloons were damaged, Garfield being one of them. This past year, Garfield just deflated, busted a chamber inside, and we had to pull it out of the parade. It wasn't because it was unsafe, it just couldn't fly. The famous fat cat was not the only one that had this accident that year. Spider-Man, Quake Bunny, and the new Wild Thing balloon for where the Wild Things are has sprung leaks before even starring the parade, and it was either from a lamppost or tree branches. As for the parade's broadcast of television, when the balloon does not reach Herald Square, NBC either shows a test flight footage at the balloon's debut, or a show a previous year when the balloon is in Herald Square. As for Garfield, the footage that was used for him was 1996. After the 1998 parade, the original Garfield balloon was retired and making up a total appearances of 14 appearances. And yes, that still counts 1998. After over three years of absence, he managed to come back in 2003. But this time, to celebrate Garfield's 25th anniversary. But Garfield was an all new character. This time, Garfield still gives this parade a big thumbs up and brought his pal Pookie on the side. And Ed Garfield was the holiday ambassador of 2003. And he was also the final balloon before the big man arrived of you know what is coming tomorrow. Tucker out Tabby hasn't given up his passion for pasta 
first ever Garfield Tour. He would continue in 2004, and also oh, to remote of Garfield the movie, of of the host of Bill Murray as the famous fat cat. But on his appearance, Garfield's paw was damaged at Central Park West by a tree branch. Then he would continue in 2005, but nothing big happened for Garfield's appearance. Then he made his final appearance in the 80th anniversary in 2006. Also, to remote of another movie of Garfield, of Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties. And he was the final balloon before Santa Claus arrived. After the 2006 parade, the Garfield balloon was officially retired, making up a total appearances of 18, and also making up a total appearances of these episodes of this season premiere of 16 episodes. Guys, man, what an amazing premiere we had. I mean, we had so much fun doing all this. You can see my hand there. Well, this is just season one. But season two will be happening really soon. And no, the season the show is not over. Season two is coming out on July or maybe on April. I just don't know if I have time though. But I'm letting you guys choose what balloon do you want me to start in season two. So I'm afraid back to the plushie video, I guess. But I wish you all of you guys a happy Thanksgiving, and to all of you, a good night.